glimpses of the Emirates. What would await an accidental tourist in UAE? I wondered as I came out of the airport into the open air. Yes, I was an accidental tourist. I had been to Oman to stay with my niece. I had just squeezed in two days on my way back home. But two days were enough to give me an eyeful and plenty of food for thought. The dense clouds hovering above the wings of the aircraft had already given me an eyeful, and the desert which seemed to stretch endlessly was a spectacle too. The long drive in my friend Ashogan's car from Ras al Khaima to Abu Dhabi was a memorable experience. We never got tired of stopping and venturing out into the beach. The sea had the same serene appearance everywhere. One feels a kind of heavenly bliss at these quiet beaches. At Suihan in Abu Dhabi, I caught sight of something unexpected. It was the entrance to the Noor Abu Dhabi solar power plant. It is the largest single-site solar power plant in the world, producing a, a stupidious 1.2 GW of power. Of course, tourists are not allowed inside. I had to satisfy myself with the magnificent photographs of the power plant on the net. The plant has an amazing 3.2 million solar panels. I wish tourists were given an aerial view of the plant. I was able to view the imposing Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world. Climbing it all the way up would take you to the top of the world. Of course, I could not do that. A boat ride at Bur Dubai late in the evening was a fascinating experience. The dazzling lights and their reflections on the creek give you a feeling of being out of the world. It was only matching by a ride on the metro from Al Nahda to stadium. Watching the landscape from a train, it always entertaining, but here was a landscape totally different from anything I had ever seen. But nothing matching, matched to Lower Abu Dhabi Museum. A marvel by any standards, it houses some of the world's most fascinating archaeological remains, paintings, sculptures, and other artifacts. It carries the name of the famous Loire Museum in France on an agreement. It has also rented more than 300 pieces from the Loire for display. I thought it's terribly unlucky of me to have spent only half a day in the museum. I would have loved to spend at least a week. When boarding the flight to Calicut, I wished I had more time for a visit like this. At least two weeks, another time, I might get the chance again. You never know.